Welcome to the installation video of Hyxapower Hybrid Inverter. In this video, there are several environmental installation requirements to be aware of. Hybrid inverters require sufficient space for installation. This series of videos consists five chapters. Display and pre-installation preparation, mechanical installation, electrical connection, communication installation and battery installation. Now, let's open the box and prepare some tools that might be used in the installation. There are some tools that may be used. These are the accessories that will be included in the inverter and battery package. The following is the recommended table for cable types. Please note that these cables need to be supplied by the installer. Open the box. We can see the hybrid inverter and some accessories. The illustration shows the ports and components of the inverter. Now, let's see the mechanical installation. First, assemble the hanging plate. Secondly, select the hole position and mark the drilling position. Secure the mounting plate with M6 screws. Assemble the mounting pegboard and mounting bracket onto the string inverter. Let's assemble the mounting bracket. Then the mounting pegboard. Hang the mounting lugs onto the peg plate. Then use the screw to tighten the peg plate and hybrid inverter. Finally, lock the peg plate and hybrid inverter. The third part is the electrical connection. Make the cable and crimp the terminal block. Peel off the cable. Insert silicone. Then press the end and cable tightly. Tighten the ends and silicone with a hot air gun to improve its corrosion resistance. Ground the inverter and tighten it with M4 screws. Now, let's assemble the DC connectors. Strip all DC cable insulation by approximately 7 mm. Use crimping pliers to bundle the cable ends at the terminals. Insert the cable through the cable sealing sleeve. Insert it into the insulating sleeve and fasten it. Repeat the above steps. Connect the PV connectors to the corresponding terminals until a click is heard. Now, let's make the AC side cable. Insert the cable through the cable sealing sleeve. Strip the AC cable insulation. Strip the insulation layer of three internal cables. 
Make the cable and crimp the terminals attached to the AC connector. Tighten the screws. Then assemble the AC cable and tighten the nut. Insert the AC connector to the inverter. The backup wiring is totally same with AC side. The fourth part is communication installation. Insert the parts into the cable in meter cable. Crimp the cables. Assembling the cable ends. Insert the compressed cable into the aperture. Then tighten the screws with the Allen key. Tighten each part tightly. Insert the meter cable into the inverter. Here are two versions of DCS, 4G and Wi-Fi. Remove the protective cover of DCS. Insert the SIM card to the card slot of the DCS. Install the waterproof cover of DCS. Insert DCS, 4G, into the corresponding communication terminal. DCS, Wi-Fi version, is the same. Finally, let's complete the battery installation. If you have 3 to 4 batteries, you need to install a pull wall bracket. As you can see, the holes of the 3 battery packs need to be punched 1088.5mm above the ground. The holes of the four battery packs need to be punched 1,438.5 mm from the ground. Then, place the base 33 mm away from the wall. Flip the BDU over with the bottom side facing up. Connect the bracket with the bottom of the BDU with four screws. Please note that the edges of the pull bracket are facing down. Place the BDU at the top. Route the waterproof case through the high voltage cable. Stripping off high voltage cables. Insert the terminals into the cable. and keep the cable flush with the terminals. Insert the end into the terminal. Then, tighten the terminal with the cable. Finally, tighten the nuts. The same goes for the other line. Connect the battery to the inverter with the high voltage cables. 
Inverter side connector are totally same with PV connector. Tighten the communication cable with the waterproof sleeve. Then tighten the nut. Connect inverter and battery communication ports with RJ45 cable connectors, fitted with waterproof connectors. Then complete all the installation. Scan the QR code on the screen to get the DCS configuration video.